Here's a little video of what we went through um, this morning. Um, started out as a nice gentle rain and we ended up with, I guess, grape size hail. Um, kind of messed up my garden big time. So anyway, um, just wanted to share this video with you. I hope everyone is safe. We are safe. Um, it could have been a lot worse. We didn't have any tornadoes, just some hail. And we've got another storm coming in um, later on this afternoon. So just watch and see what happened at Mimi's garden today. Beat it to death. do not look too bad. Maybe they'll come back. <sighs> 30 minutes of hail. Zucchini. Potatoes did good. Let's try to get the squash. I want the cucumbers. This look good. So after the storm, I went back out and uh, bless its heart, the zucchini kind of perked up a little bit, but it had a lot of broken um, leaves 
and stems so I decided I had better cut those off. If a plant has a damaged leaf that usually signals insects that the plant is um, distressed and they will come in and take over so I'm just not sure if this better make it or not. You know I really feel for farmers put all that work into their farms and then one disaster after another happens and you really just feel like giving up. I just I really don't know what else to think. I feel so bad for people that have to do this for a living. I know the Midwest has had floods and tornadoes and all kinds of Arctic blast. I just, you know, I feel for farmers. I just got a little taste of it watching a hailstorm blow through in, in less than an hour and pretty much wipe out my squash and zucchini. So I really feel for farmers. We just really need to lift them up in prayer because this is just very sad. All of these plants I grew in my dining room from seed. Watching them grow. All my pepper plants, I was so excited and they're just beat to death. So I'm feeling a little sad and a little down. Um, not sure how to get out of the funk. But we'll see tomorrow what it looks like. We've got another storm coming through in the next five or ten minutes. Our phones are going off for severe weather alerts, so we'll just have to wait and see. Sometimes I think we should just stop, forget all this. I'm 60 years old. I just retired. Why in the world am I out there trying to grow all this food? People ask me that all the time. Why do you go to all that trouble when you can just go to the grocery store and buy it? Well, it used to be it was because I love to do it. And then here's my sweet husband going right out and building my next trellis so that my pole beans have something to grow up on. I didn't have the heart to tell him. Just forget it. So anyway, I'm kind of just in a little bit of a funk. Not sure what direction to go. Not sure if I want to stay on social media, if I want to keep up the garden. Just going to think about it and pray about it. My prayers go out to all those who are affected by this kind of weather all the time. Bless you. Thanks so much for watching. Be safe.